Hi everyone, in this challenge you're going to create a MySQL database. So what are the tasks? You're going to create a company sales database. I've already provided you with the CSV file. Then you're going to create a table called sales for this data uh, where the order for this DB, for this DB, where the order num is the primary key. If you take a look at the CSV, you'll understand. Import data from the company sales CSV file into this MySQL database. Query the data for some information and then using Python discover what is what the most important order was and who ordered it. Now you could use two, one of these two um, methods. You could use MySQL connector approach or SQL Alchemy plus pandas approach. I will provide my solution in SQL Alchemy plus pandas approach. So uh, go ahead, pause the video, and after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. All right, so how was it? I'm sure you did great. So let me save this file. I've already taken the liberty to provide some uh, stuff here. These are very simple, very repetitive, so I don't want to waste your time. We are going to immediately go into the details. So we have imported all of them here, everything we need. Then we have created our engine along with the declarative base. We have created a sale uh, class with the table name sales. Was that the table name? Yeah, it is sales, perfect. So from the schema company sales, make sure you write the schema name in here as well. These are the columns, order num, order type, customer name, a product number, product name, quantity price, discount, and order total. This is gonna be a, re a strong representation of it, and we have bound all the data to this, to this uh, base declarative base that we have created. Now, uh, the next step would be importing the uh, data. So I'm going to say file underscore name. I'm, I'm going to make sure to spell it correctly. So let's say company underscore sales. Let's pass in the extension as well. Now uh, we are going to create a data frame. Data frame. And uh, let's say pandas dot read CSV. Perfect. That's a very useful method. Let's pass in file name. There we go. And then we are going to grab our data frame dot to SQL. Very simple. We have already done this. So we are going to pass in engine as the connection, uh, as well as the name of the table that we have. So name is going to be sale dot um, table name underscore underscore table name underscore underscore, as well as the if exists exists uh, then if it exists this time I'm just gonna say replace it and we are going to pass in the index as a false so so far so good right everything here we have already done before now we have been able to insert that data but it does require some information query th uh, the data for some info what is that info? We want to find out the most important order and who ordered. It. So in one in one scenario, the most important order would be the order that is the biggest. So I'm going to find out what order is the biggest. So session, we already know what session does for us. So session equals uh, session maker. We have session dot configure configure. Perfect. Let's bind it to the engine. And we are going to store it as S. So session, let's call it and store it there. Now I'm going to say overall max or maximum value. Uh, let's query the session. Let's use the session to query the database. That is the better way of putting it. So we know that within here now, we are going to convert that to a scalar first, our um, order total, so we can grab it from the database. So I'm going to say func dot max. These are available by the query. And in here, I'm going to pass in sale dot order underscore total. So who ordered the biggest is going to be which order total is going to be the biggest. And then I'm going to say scalar. Perfect. 
and we are going to print that overall max as well so we can just take a look at it overall max the reason that the intellisense doesn't work properly is because my computer is actually running hot uh, just a few lines i mean these computers so the next stop we can grab the order um uh, which orders are the top order we can also grab those so i'm going to query the session so i'm going to say query the session and i'm going to pass in the sale uh class and we are going to say order by we have already talked about this in the sql chapters in the mysql chapters when we were going over the sql syntax and this is the the pythonic way of doing order by so you know uh, theoretically what how it what it does, and uh, ex uh, and experimentally, is that a correct word? I'm not sure. So we have order uh, sell that order total dot d e s c description, and we want to limit uh, to ten. Okay, so let's save that within the results variable. And then we are going to say for for results in results just print a result perfect hopefully everything is going to work out fine um, now in case your my sql database does not show all the records like there, i think there are above 4900 uh, it means that the number of rows in your table, they are limited. I'm going to show you how you can do that. But first, let's go ahead and execute it and make sure there were no errors. So it is, it's simple. I can just type it out. It's 9.solution.py. Just save it and run it. It says unknown database company sales. Oh, you know what we didn't do the first important thing we did not create the database and i forgot about it so first off let's create the database perfect should have i should have started with this i'm sure yours did much better than mine come on man so we are going to say oh what am i doing here so i'm gonna say this this let's just oh perfect there we go so i'm going to say create database uh, company sales and there we go the database is created now let's run this again this uh file let's execute it again and there we go so we got our orders and um, uh, the first one is where is the first one so the, here it is so you can see this number 83 i'm going to zoom in for you so you can really see it we got 83708.4 that is the biggest one which is 95 quantity uh, rww7-75 robot wholesale order and what are the top 10 orders these are 83 81 78 and all of these now let's go into my sql and let's take a look at it here it's company sales tables and let's go here and you can see that i have all the orders all 4900 and i think they are 77 4977 now if for any reason uh your uh sql workbench or your mysql database doesn't show all the records it means that they are limited so what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit click on edit go to preferences from the preferences go to sql editor from the sql editor um, um go to sql execution there we go here is the sql execution and in here just uh in the select query results in here you can see untick unselect this limit rows so if it doesn't show it means that your rows are limited so just unselect this option and then go ahead and okay it 
and then just rerun this and you're going to see all 4977 so with this we were able to find what was the uh, biggest order uh, did we find who ordered it we just found what the biggest one was so we basically what we did here was uh, let me take a look at this so what we did was we said overall max this this gave us the overall and we printed it so I'm just gonna provide the uh, biggest order perfect so this is the biggest order and who ordered it we actually did not find that but it is for us right here so if we take a look at this first item we say it's Boehm Incorporation and this is the biggest order this is the incorporation that ordered um, the biggest so with this our lecture comes to an end and our chapter in the next cha chapter next chapter is going to be the final chapter for uh, my sequ for SQL essentials course and so far we have talked about SQLite my SQL and the only thing remaining is of course Postgres so we're going to cover that in our next chapter see you then